Hey guys, this is emix 77 and I'm going to start in on a color correction series. And I'm going to start with a real quick and dirty way how to correct your color. Uh, it's called autocorrect. Final Cut will do the work for you. Then I'll get into how to doing it manually and finessing it better because color correction is an art. It's like a ballet. You can't just go in there and start sliding and moving sliders around wholeheartedly because you will mess something up. It's It consists of fine movements. So as you can see here, I have an image. Well, I have two images. And I'm going to show you just one real simple way to jazz up an image. Say um, you don't want... Say you got an image that don't need really much that much color correction. It's like a graphic such as this one. I'm just going to give you a real quick way to how to make your image pop. And then we'll move into adjusting my photo that you've seen. So here we have this normal graphic image, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into, I'm going to double, double click it to get it into my viewer, go to effects, video filters, image control, or color correction, I'm sorry, color corrector three-way. And a little color corrector three-way tab will come up at the top. I have two color correctors applied. So that's why you see two of them, but normally you'll just see one. So we're going to go into our color corrector, and we're going to take our saturation slider, and we're going to slide it way kind of up here. But like that right there. Maybe even all the way up a little more. This is going to make our colors pop. And I'm going to adjust our white point, our mids a little bit. I'm going to click on mids, and the mid color would be like a gray, so I'm going to click on this little eyedropper, which is your auto adjust tool. I'm going to find a good mid color in the canvas, or and uh, click on it. Now, as you can see, here is our finished image, but now let me show you the before, before I applied the color correction. Boom. Can you see that? It's a subtle difference, but if you notice, the colors really pop there you see how the red and the green really pops and even I could go in here a little bit more and I could bring the white point up a little bit to where even the uh, shadow at the top pops a little bit so there's the after color correction here's the before look how dull how dull it was but with the color corrector three-way Boom, it really, really brings it out. So now that we got that simple correction done, we're bringing the watts up a little bit and bringing our saturation up a little bit. Let's go move on to a picture that actually needs some color adjusting. And here's a picture of a, of a couple that I know. And uh, everything looks okay. You wouldn't really notice anything about it. First of all, I want to show you, I want you to go up, if you want to color correct, you need to go up to window, arrange, color correction and this will bring up this three-way view here and this is your histograms over here on the right and the one we're mainly going to be looking at are these two right here actually we're going to look at all three of them but I'm not going to explain them right now this time around I'm just going to be looking at the vector scope this time around and when we get into the manual adjustments I'll explain all these other scopes so let me just adjust it to my vector scope here like this okay so now let me kind of try to explain some of this stuff over here um, here's, if you can see, here's R for red, magenta, blue, yellow, green, and so on. Um, and this line right here is your flesh tone. So you want your video, your, your people's flesh tone to be about on that line. And, um, as you can see right here, we got to shoot up towards the R, which is the red, which is, this right here is probably this red blanket. And over here is the yellow, as you can see. Um, and I'm saying it's, I'm probably thinking it's our shirt. And it looks like we have a pretty decent flesh tone color. A little bit leaning off to the red a little bit. It's hot. But it's nothing we can't fix. So let me go in to, and double click my clip to get it in the viewer. Go to effects. Video filters. Color correction. Color collector three way. There is specific reasons to use just a color corrector. And we'll get into that as we go on in next videos, but right now we want the color corrector three-way. 
This will apply our color corrector three way. I'm going to go into my color corrector three way tab in the viewer. Right, which is right here. Select it. Hit my visuals button to turn so I can see my three color wheels. Now, the first thing I want, the first thing you want to start with is the blacks. You always want to adjust blacks, then whites, then the mids. Or maybe you might want to go blacks, mids, whites, but always start with the blacks first. So what you want to do is find something black in your picture. Click your little eyedropper. Now remember, this is doing it automatically. I'll show you how to manually do it later. Click your eyedropper and find something black in the picture and hit it and click. And that will give a subtle adjustment to your blacks. And then you want to go over here and do the same thing to your whites. Click your eyedropper. Bring it back out and click something that's supposed to be white, like the wall back here. There. Now, if you go up to view, range check, go down to range check and select excess luma, you'll get this little check mark which will tell you everything is within reason, your watts ain't, ain't bursting out, nothing's, everything's okay. But if you take, say I'm going to take my watts up, watch it'll turn into see it turn into the exclamation point that means my whites are too hot and I have to bring them down so I'm gonna turn on my range view like I just showed you and I'm gonna bring it down to where it turns the check mark turns green like that right there then I want to go down four more clicks one two three four which you would do by using the scroll wheel or using these little arrows right here And then hit Control Z to turn off your Luma Checker. Like that right there. Now we want to bring our saturation slider up just a little bit like we did in our last picture. Now everything's looking better. The watch are looking better. But as you can see over here in the histogram, their flesh tone is kind of red. It's kind of going towards the red side. So what you want to do is to fix that, you want to inject the opposite color of what there's too much of. So I'm going to add some blue in there, which should help pull the red out in the mids. And a, blue, a little bit of blue in the mids, which should help pull some of the, the blue out, like that right there. Then I'm going to raise my whites a little bit more, like that. And as you can see, we have a pretty decently colored image. Her shirt pops yellow really good. Her blue jeans are popping blue really good. Uh, the, the, the wall is white. Now, take a close look. Let me turn color corrector three-way off. And I want you to notice the difference. Oh, can you see that? How orange and hazy and dusty that picture looks? You wouldn't know it at first seeing it. But after you apply the color corrector three-way, bam, that makes the picture look 100% better. Now, guys, you know enough to be dangerous. Go out there, fool around a little bit, see what you can come up with. I hope you've learned something, and we'll see you next time. Once again, let me show you the before. Oh, look at the vector scope. Now, let me turn it on. Bam! Now look at the vector scope. And look at this beautiful picture we got. Before. After. Before. Yuck. After. Much better. Later, guys.